This year's Bayview Place Island Savings Open presented by Times Colonist marks the 34th playing of the event at Uplands Golf Club in Victoria. At just over 6,400 yards, Uplands Golf Club is the shortest course on the Mackenzie Tour PGA Tour Canada schedule. But that doesn't mean it's easy. A lot of risk reward. There's, there's some others and there's some good scores out here, but the, ultimately there's great conditions. So that's what players really, really like about it. The rewards get played. You hit in the fairway, you get rewarded. You hit on the green, you get rewarded. You hit in the rough, you're going to have a really hard time just even hitting the green. And I think guys like that. It's, I think it's one of the hardest short courses I've ever played. It's fun, it's challenging. The par 70 layout ranked second toughest on tour in 2015, playing to an average of .267 strokes over par. I think you got to kind of take what it gives. you got to keep it between the tree line. Being in the fairway is important. The course is a little softer this year than it is in past, but it usually gets firm out here, so being in the fairway makes a big difference. It's usually got you know, swirling winds, so you want to favor the middle of the greens, and the greens are usually pure, so if you can get it to 10, 15 feet all day, you can put a number out. I think I hit four drivers around here, and uh, there's just no need really to hit it that far. Probably 10 holes you can't get inside 140 yards, so you, you know you just got to accept that you got to hit it right in the middle of the fairway at 150 and try to attack it with a 9-iron. Uplands Golf Club also owned three of the top five toughest holes of the 2015 season. I think it requires more shots. You can't just hit the high draw everywhere. Sometimes you got to hit low, you got to bring it in, um, land it short of the green. Sometimes you got to fly it all the way. Uh, especially by the end of the week, it gets so firm out here that uh, you know you can play it just so many different ways. Last season, Albin Choi managed his way around Uplands Golf Club, reaching 15 under par for the week, securing a two-stroke victory over Adam Svensson, Jason Millard, and Eugene Wong. The win was a major stepping stone up to the web.com tour. Choi eventually finished sixth on the order of merit, earning exemption to the final stage of web.com tour Q School. So far, he's earned two top tens this season and ranks 54th on the web.com tour money list.